Good evening. 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 Ready for your plan? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, just let me uh, put my headphones because I need to hear you better with this brain. I can hear you very well. But now I think I will be able to listen to you in a better way. Can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes I can. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm happy because you were asking about the, the exercises on the platform. That means that you were working on them. And that's good. Okay, so today we have our class number nine. In a moment, you will see the PowerPoint presentation. In a moment. Is it raining out there? Is it raining hard? Yes. Yes, it should. Yes, yes. It should. yes, it is, right? I hope we don't have problems with the internet connection. Okay, so today we're going to start learning about describing places around the world. Well, yesterday we studied a little bit about comparatives and superlative adjectives for describing things, especially uh, places, okay? So participants will learn new vocabulary related to geography. And also you will know how to ask and answer questions using comparisons, comparisons with adjectives. I will also include in this class questions with how, because if there's an exercise in the platform, very important, like, how long, how big, um, yeah, how far, questions with how. We are going to learn about that in this class too. So we have first recalling previous knowledge, activity two, describing places around the world, activity three, comparative adjectives and wrap up. Okay, look at this picture guys. We have a different, uh, things of nature in this picture and you are going to help me to match right the word with the letter the, yeah the word the number and the word with the letter that represents that word so let's get started with beach beach letter a letter a okay desert Desert. Letter B. B. Okay. And look at the pronunciation is desert. Desert. The pronunciation of the, the for example, cupcakes, cake, cheesecake. What you eat after a meal is dessert. Dessert. Would you like some dessert? Okay, dessert. But this, this place is desert, desert. The desert of Arizona, the desert of Sahara. Okay, desert. The emphasis is in the first syllable, desert. Okay, forest. The first, what is? Desert, oh. desert, desert. Okay, number three. Forest. Forest. Letter C. Okay. The hill. Letter D. Letter D. Yes. Island. Island. Letter Oh, I think there's missing one part. Give me a moment. F. That is missing one one part of the picture. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I will show you the whole picture. 
I don't know why there was not complete, but you will see it complete in a moment. I will only show you the picture because I'm working in this, in the presentation, the PowerPoint presentation, but I need you to see. Okay. <laughs> what is the island? Oh, Letter? Shit. H. 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 L. It's letter, letter L. L. Letter I. Oh, letter I know letter L. 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 Yes, L. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, so the island is letter L. What about lake? H. H. Letter H. Okay, that is letter H. Um, le mountain. A. Letter A. 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 Yeah, here is different. Letter A. The mountain. Ocean. Letter J. 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 It's J. J. This is the ocean. All the rivers uh, go to the ocean. River? C. Letter o C. D. Yes, letter C. It's letter C. C. Okay. Valley. Letter C, the river in the valley. B. F. Letter E. No, this is the desert, the forest, mm -hmm. the hill, the mountains. This is the valley. Letter, letter D. B. B. Letter B is the valley. Valley. Okay. Volcano. Letter K. K. And waterfall. Letter G. G. Exactly. Letter G. Nice. Very nice. So this is for you to enrich your vocabulary. The vocabulary about the different places. I would like somebody to read all the words to practice pronunciation. Me, teacher. Okay, Anna. Beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano. Waterfall. Okay, number 11, Anna, is volcano. Volcano, okay. Volcano. And can you repeat number five? Uh, island. Very good, Anna. That is the correct pronunciation. Okay, for the word island, we don't pronounce the S. The S is a silent letter in this word. Okay, it's island. If you say Iceland, you are referring to a country. That is a country that is called Iceland, Islandia, okay? But island, uh, for example, Cuba is an island. Haiti or Haiti, Haiti, the, the country Haiti is an island. And with the word mountain, mountain, you don't pronounce the A. It's like the A disappears and you make that sound, mountain, mountain, okay? It's like, I don't know, there is a, there is a sound here, mountain, 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 okay? Good, so that was the recalling previous knowledge, like review, okay, very good. Let's continue with the presentation. Okay, <laughs> we have all this work. Can you give me examples of beach? <coughs> examples of beaches? The Sunsal Beach. The Sunsal Beach, very good. Examples of yes. desert. 
Arizona. The Sahara Desert. Okay. Examples of forest. Monte Cristo Forest. Monte Cristo Forest. El Imposible Forest. Okay. Examples of hill. Hills. Cerro San Jacinto. San Jacinto Hill. Cerro Verde Hill. Hill. Okay. Examples of islands. Island Conejo. Conejo Island. Okay. Examples of lakes. Guatepeque. Guatepeque Lake, Apulo Lake, okay. Uh, we have Lake. Examples. Eramon Mountain. Er, Eramon Mountain. Okay, good example. Eramon Mountain. Ocean. Pacific Ocean. And the Atlantic Ocean. River. The Amazonas <laughs> River. Amazonas River. Lempa River. Okay, examples of valley. Amacas Valley. Hiboa <laughs> Valley. Okay. Hiboa Valley, the, the, the Amacas Valley. <laughs> okay. Volcano. We have a lot of volcanoes in our country. Santa Ana, Chinchantepec, y la El oh, Very good. Waterfall. Tanger Falls. Niagara's. Niagara's Waterfall. Very good. Excellent. The Niagara Falls. Okay. Great. Well, we studied this conversation yesterday and we are going to go over the rules for comparatives and superlatives. Okay, we have, these are the specific rules. One syllable, you, we add ER, strong, stronger, superlative, D is strongest. When we have a consonant, short vowel and consonant, consonant, consonant vowel, consonant, we double the last consonant and we add ER, or EST in superlative, bigger and biggest. When the adjective ends in E, like in large, we just add the R, larger, or ST, largest. When the adjective ends in Y, like happy, you drop the I, the Y, you, you write or you change for I, E, R, happier, the happiest. Two syllables adjectives, where some cases the two syllable adjectives can you can say it in the two ways. You can say gentler or more gentle. The same happens with the adjective friendly. You can say more friendly or you can say friendlier. And both are correct. Like in this case, we have uh, the superlative gentlest or the most gentle. You can say the friendliest or the most friendly. Uh, three or more syllables. It's a long adjective, like expensive. We just add more or most. More expensive, most expensive. And in the regular forms, like good is better and best. Little is less and least. And there is another irregular adjective that you need to know, and that is the adjective far. Far, what? lejos. Uh, bad. bad. Okay, also bad, yes. Okay, what is the irregular, what is the comparative form of far? Farther. Far 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 Far, or far there, there. And fast. And, or far there, exactly. And the comparative of bad? Farthest. Worse. Or the comparative of bad? 
is worse. Worst. Mm -hmm. The compara the superlative of farther or far is farthest or forthest. And the superlative of bad. The words, spare the words. Worst, the worst. Yes, very good. You need to have, or you, it would be a good idea to have like a list of the comparative and superlative forms of adjectives. We're going to practice with an exercise. We have eight questions. We have to complete with the superlatives or comparative forms. Remember, if I am comparing two things, what am I going to use? Superlatives or comparatives? Comparative. comparative. If I am comparing three or more, it's superlative. It's superlative. That's correct. Okay, let's start. Which country is? Smaller. 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 Monaco or Vatican City? And what is the what is the answer? Vatican City. Yes, it's true. Which waterfall is? Higher. 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 Yeah. Okay. Higher. Because, because we only have two options, Niagara Falls and Victoria Falls. Which city is? More, more crowded. More crowded. More crowded. Hong Kong or Cairo? Which Hong lake Kong. is, yes, it's true. Which lake is? Larger. 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 Lake Michigan or Lake Baikal? I have no idea. <laughs> Which is? Okay, we have three options here. Mount Aconcagua, oh, Mount yeah. Everest, or Mount Fuji. Which is highest. 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 Exactly. Highest. Remember, we use this, the article da and then the adjective Where in the superlative form. Which is the highest? Number six. What is? The longest. Have, the longest. The longest. The longest. The longest. What is the longest river in the Americas? The Mississippi, the Colorado, or the Amazon? Amazon. Which... <laughs> yes, that's true. Which city is? More the most. The most. The most expensive. London, Tokyo, or Moscow? And what is the ocean deepest. in the world? The, the deepest. Deep. Exactly. The deep. Very good. The deepest ocean in the world, the Pacific, the Atlantic, or the Arctic? Okay. Atlantic. <laughs> okay. So, guys. Um, very good. Good job. I, I can see that you have studied about comparatives and superlatives. Excellent. Very good. Good. Um, we are going to leave this exercise for another day because I want you to I want you to explain the other topic. But before we go the, to the other topic, let's practice more on superlatives. I have here an exercise to practice with you. Okay. 
you will tell me what is the correct option. We have three options here. Last the August second, was that? The second one? Hot? Hottest. The hottest. 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 The hottest month on record, right? The hottest. Very good. Okay, let's see the next one. Your shoes are? Prettier. 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 Your shoes are prettier than mine. Okay, very good. Okay, the next one. His smile has, his smile Please. has that. <laughs> the brightest, the brightest, the brightest teeth in the photo. <laughs> okay, just give me a think about the next one. Give me one moment. I need to say. Okay, what is the the best option? Happier. Happier. Are you feeling happier than yesterday? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. His score was the lowest. lowest. The lowest in the year. Yes. This three is. Taller. Taller. It's taller. taller than the tree in your garden. Because we have only two options or two things. Edward's heart was harder. Harder. Harder than Rob. Wow. We know it's harder because we are comparing two things. And we are using Dan. Pellegrina's eyes was the uh, blackest. Yes. Blackest. The blackest black that Edward mm -hmm. has ever seen. Edward. His body was. Yeah. Yeah. Colder, colder than a fridge. Right. His body was colder than a fridge. Wow. It, it was that. <laughs> okay, Abigail's mom was? Friendlier. 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 Friendlier than Pellegrina. And that was it. Very good. Great job. Okay, so you can use, right, the comparatives and superlatives. We're going to have another class later, guys, in which we are going to have more practice with comparatives and superlatives. By now, we are going to go over another topic and these questions with how, okay? Give me a moment. Okay, uh, before uh, we go over that topic, let's practice. Let's have a little bit more practice of comparative. Let me say things. No, it's not the. Okay, tell me, guys. You can use the chat or you can open your microphone. What is the weirdest thing you have ever eaten? I need your participation. What is the weirdest thing you have ever eaten? Well, in my case, the weirdest thing I have ever eaten is raccoon. Uh, raccoon 
Do you know that animal? Well, one, the raccoon, mapache, raccoon. That is the weirdest thing I have ever eaten. What about you? What is the weirdest thing have you that you have tried? Anyone? Uh -huh. Ana says garrobo. Somebody said, oh, okay. <laughs> squid. But it's delicious, Milagro. Do you like squid? Did you like it? I think a squid is delicious. But, oh, but, um, but just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, Patri Patricia has tried armadillo. And did you like it, Patty? Did you like it? Yes, I like it. Yeah, the taste is like pork. It's good. Okay, the next question is, what is the farthest place you have ever visited? Well, guys, we can use the chat and you can start, you can say the, the sentence like this or you can structure the sentence like this. The farthest place I have ever visited. Is. Well, in my case, the farthest place I have ever visited is. Huehuetenango. Uh, it's in Guatemala near, near Mexico. No, Oh, Juan has visited London. Okay, I want you to use you answer these questions in the chat. Question number one, question number two, three, four, five, and six. But in complete sentences, in complete sentences, like my example, the most fascinated person I ever that I have known is. The most beautiful place I have ever been is. The most difficult topic I have studied in English is. And the most sentimental movie I have watched is. Okay. <laughs> so let's, let's answer the questions. And while you do it, I'm going to take the attendance. So please be ready to say present. If you can open your, or you can turn on, if you can turn on your camera when I mention your name, that would be perfect. That would be marvelous. So let's start with Aleida Samira Melgar. Present teacher. Thank you, Aleida. Ana Beatriz Martinez. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Andrea Esteracosta. Andrea Esther Acosta. Brandon Steven Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you, Brandon. Caleb Ariel Rivera. Present. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Thank you, Caleb. Okay. Geraldine Lisa Villera. Present teacher. Uh, what about Hevel Virginia Tobar? Present teacher. Ingrid Maricela Flores? Present teacher. Irma Adriana Segura Araujo? Present. Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia Sanchez? Okay. Jose Alejandro Vaquerano? Present teacher. Thank you, Jose. Juan David Madrid Melendez. Present teacher. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present teacher. Julio Cesar Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you, Julio. Kevin Josias Present. Flores. Thank you, Julio. Kevin Josias. Present. Thank you, Kevin. Lorena Mengiva. 
Luis Ernesto, Cibrián. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. María José Najarro. Present teacher. Mary Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Milagro Jiménez. Here I am. Okay, Mirna Landos. Present teacher. Nelson Ferón. Nelson. Patricia Esmeralda García. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Present teacher. Sandra Corea. Sandra Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra Mosa. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Stephanie Abigail Quintanilla. Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. Ok, Valeria. No la escuchamos, pero se caí. <ríe> ya la estoy, la estoy viendo. I am looking at you. But I don't know. Maybe it's your microphone. Good. Wow, guys. Many people are present today. That's good. Good. So let's read your messages. Oops. Okay, let's see. Milagro says that the farthest place she has ever visited is Achadura's border. Maria Jose, the farthest place I ever I have ever visited is Hikilist, okay? The farthest place I have ever visited is Morazan. Yeah, it's far away. The farthest place I ever visited is Amatitlan. Okay. When I was nine years old, I knew Papa, I knew Papa Juan Pablo II. And I don't know, but felt some special, okay? The weirdest thing I had is, I, the weirdest thing I have ever tried, I have ever eaten is, and, okay. Oh, Nelson is present. Okay, let me just check his attendance. Nelson set on. Okay, let's continue. The most beautiful place I have been is Acahuapa in San Vicente. That is a waterfall. Sorry, teacher, he did rains a lot. <laughs> okay. The most beautiful place I ever been is Belize. Okay, I'm looking for the more, more examples, guys. Or you can write them in your notebook and then send a picture in the WhatsApp group. The word is no, the weirdest thing I have eaten is Iguana eggs. The farthest place I have ever visited is Los Angeles. The most fascinating person I know, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you're a boyfriend. The most beautiful place you have been is El, Pira, El Pital. The most difficult topic at the moment has been the short answers, but now I understand, okay? <laughs> the most sentimental movie I have watched is Me Before You Are, yes, that movie is made me cry a lot the farthest place i have visited is the usa thank you for your thank you for your examples nice very nice okay you see that's why it's important to structure in complete sentences so i can see how you are structuring the sentences the most sentimental movie i watch is the novel the most sentimental I have been speaking. Anna Beatriz, the most sentimental movie or the most or the most beautiful place I have been. Alegra, the most sentimental movie I ever seen is The Caving. Oh. The Caving. I have never seen that movie. <coughs> so the movie is Ciudad de Angeles. Oh, Angel City. Very good. I have now options to watch on the weekend. I usually watch a movie on, on Sundays with my husband, so that is going to be an option. 
the most sentimental movie I have watched is the La Life is Beautiful. Yes, that is the most sentimental movie I have ever seen. It made me cry. It makes me cry every time I watch it. Life is beautiful. The notebook and vidas cruzadas. I cry when the girl died. Oh. Uh, the most difficult topic at the moment is superlative and comparative. <laughs> okay, Lorena, thank you for your honesty. <laughs> okay, very nice. Now we are going to go over another topic, and this is questions, as I said, questions with how. For this, I will show you one conversation. Just give me a moment. I needed the conversation. Yeah, it's here. Well, I will play so you can listen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Page 95. Exercise 9. Conversation. That's freezing. Part A. Listen and practice. Can you listen? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes, teacher. Hi, Lily. You are from Canada, right? I'm going to Toronto in January. Actually, I'm from the U.S but I went to school in Toronto. Winter there can be pretty cold. How cold is it on average? Um, I think the average in January is around 20 degrees or maybe 25 degrees. 25 degrees? But that's warm. 25 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about minus three or four Celsius. Minus three or four? That's freezing. Oh, come on. That's not so cold. At least not where I'm from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I live in Fairbanks, Alaska, around 3,000 miles from Toronto. That's, uh, let me check on my phone. Yes, that's about 4,800 kilometers. Wow. So is it colder than Toronto? It's much colder than Toronto. It's the coldest city in the United States. Very nice. So, um, <clears throat> in this conversation, they are we can see the questions with how. For example, over here we have one. How cold is it on average? I think the average in January is around 20 degrees or maybe 25, okay? That is another one. Oh, I think it's only that one. How cold? Because they are talking about the cold weather. So they are asking, they are asking how cold is it, right? How cold is Toronto? And then um, they are, mentioning the these um these states or facts three thousand miles four thousand eight hundred kilometers okay and we are and it's using also comparatives is it colder than Toronto it's much colder than Toronto it's the coldest city in the United States the coldest city in the United States is Fairbanks, Alaska. So, let's listen to the rest of the conversation. Is Fairbanks a small town or is it a big town? What else does Lily say about it, about this city? Page 95, exercise 9, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Is Fairbanks a small town? What else does Lily say about it? Tell me a little more about Fairbanks, Lily. Well, it's one of the biggest cities in Alaska. 
We have a large university, the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and the people there love ice hockey. I can imagine. What other winter sports are there? Well, there's good skiing in Fairbanks. Lots of people go there to ski. Cool. I really like skiing. And in the summer, there's the famous Midnight Sun baseball game. In June, it's still sunny at midnight. Wow, sun at midnight? That sounds amazing. Yeah, it is. Also, you should definitely try to see the northern lights between August and April. I'd love to do that. That sounds so beautiful. So, that's Fairbanks. But don't forget the low temperatures. You know, Fairbanks sounds perfect. I think I should spend a month there. Well, maybe not in January. <laughs> not in January. <laughs> okay, so is Fairbanks a small town? No, it's biggest. It's the biggest city in Alaska, right? In Alaska. What else does Lily said about it? She gave a lot of information about the city of Fairbanks. What information could you catch? University. There is a big university. That is a, a large university. What else? The, like hockey. Can you repeat the letter? They like hockey. Okay. They can play hockey. <laughs> What happens in June? We can see the starlight um, on midnight. There, yeah, oh, yeah, it's sunny yeah. at midnight. Exactly. So imagine it's 12 a.m. and it, it's not dark. It's sunny like the day. Okay, and also she mentioned the northern northern lights. You know what? That is one of my dreams to watch the northern lights in the twilight northern lights. So in Alaska, you can see the northern lights. Mm -hmm. That is a spectacular. So that is one of my dreams. One day, I will watch them. And you can see them over here, the northern lights. It's just, um, it's, a, it's marvelous. I mean, there is a combination of a lot of different colors and lights. Just great. Northern lights, Aurora Boreal. Okay, good. So after listening to this conversation, now we're going to go over the, the questions with how. Okay, the how questions. We use how plus an adjective. How plus an adjective. It, that is the structure. For example, how old are you? 33. How old is the Statue of Liberty? How old is your car? How old is um, your pet? Right? Now, we also have how tall? How tall is she? About two meters. Wow, she's really tall. How tall are you? Mm, I am one meter and 65 centimeters, okay? How big is your band? It sits 11 people, wow. How big is your house? It has three rooms, one garage, one garden, one kitchen. How tired are you? Not very tired, I'm okay. How 
thirsty are you? I'm very thirsty. I want to drink one liter of water. How soon will they be, re be ready? In about one hour. How well does he speak Urdu? Not very well. How well do you speak English? I speak English very well. How quickly can you finish? I can finish by three. Okay, so how plus adjectives. Questions with how. How old, how tall, how big, how tight, how thirsty, how soon, how well, how quickly, how fast. How fast can you go when you drive? I can go um, 100 kilometers per hour. Okay. Um, how far is your house? How far is Russia? How long <coughs> is the movie? The movie is two hours long. Okay, so those are the questions with how. And this is what we were talking about. You can see that it's not only with places or temperatures or measurements, but also with other adjectives. You can use how with other adjectives as well. But we can see here these questions. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven volunteers. Volunteer number one to read how cold. If we don't have volunteers, we will have big teams. Okay, Lorena. They said on trampa. Okay. How cool is Toronto in the winter? Uh huh. The answer? Okay. It um. It gets. It gets that. It gets down to minus. 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 Okay. It gets down to minus twenty-five Celsius. 25 degrees Celsius. Degree. Celsius. 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 Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's continue, Geraldine. How hot is Fairbanks in the summer? It gets up to uh, 20 degrees Celsius. Thank you so much, Andrea Esther. Andrea, we don't listen to you. <coughs> Andrea. Okay. Okay. Is the how far is Toronto for from five plants? It's about four thousand eight hundred kilometers. Four thousand eight hundred kilometers. Kilometers. Thank you, Andrea. Uh, Maria Jose. How big is still? It's six hundred five square kilometers. Very good. Sandra Sencio. How high is Monte Everest? It's 800, a, a thousand, no, a, a thousand, a hundred forty five meters high. Very good. Yes. How high is Mount? Mount Everest, Mount Everest. It's a, a thousand eight hundred forty eight meters high. Very good. And uh, let's continue. Valeria. How long? How long is the Mississippi River? It's about Three thousand seven hundred. No, no. 
700 kilometers long. Kilometers long. Okay, how deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,828 meters deep. So, when we have the questions with how, look how plus an adjective. Cold, hot, far, big, high, long, and deep. They are adjectives. ¿Qué tan frío es Toronto en el invierno? ¿Qué tan caliente es Fairbanks? ¿Qué tan lejos es Toronto? ¿Qué tan grande es Seúl? ¿Qué tan alto es el, la montaña Everest o el monte Everest? ¿Qué tan largo es el río Mississippi? ¿Qué tan profundo es el Gran Cañón? And in the answer, you have to mention the, the measurement, la medida. And this, for temperature, Celsius or Fahrenheit, uh, for distance, kilometers or meters, for uh, um, height, we say high, meters, uh, for length, we say also kilometers or meters long or uh, depth, in this case we use meters. And we say the adjective, deep, long, and high. <coughs> there is an exercise in the platform in which you have to uh, practice that. We can write the questions to these answers. You're gonna help me, guys. For example, Niagara Falls is 52 meters high. So what is the question? First, how, and then if it's high is how? Oh, high. How high, high is Niagara Falls? Niagara Falls. Okay, number two, California is about a uh, 423,970 square kilometers. So what is the question? How long? How long is it California? Big a square kilometers. Uh-huh. How? How big, how big is California? How big, big. is California? How big is California? Is California. Yeah. It's big because it's it, it, the answer is uh, a square kilometers, kilometros cuadrados. So it's a square kilometers. Long is for largo. And we want to say, we don't want to say que tan larga es California, sino que tan grande. Okay, number three. Oh, now here is how, how long. long. How long, long, right? How long is, is the Nile? The Nile. River, uh-huh. How long is the Nile River or the Nile? The Nile is 6,670 kilometers long. Okay, number four. Osaka is about 400 kilometers from Tokyo. How um, far? Exactly. How far? Far. Uh, how far is how far Osaka is from Tokyo? Um, Tokyo. Yes, how far is Osaka from Tokyo? Osaka is about 400 kilometers from Tokyo. How long is San Salvador from San Miguel? How far is, is, San, is San Salvador from San Miguel? Do you know any idea? Like 100 kilometers or eight, 90 kilometers or so? Maybe? 100. 100 kilometers. 100. Okay. Yes. Number five, Mexico City gets up to about 28 degrees Celsius in the summer. How hot, how hot, how hot is Mexico yes. in the summer? Okay. How hot does Mexico? How hot does Mexico get in the summer? 
So you have to look at the at the answer to make the question. In this case, the question is in the simple present, Mexico City gets up to about 28 degrees in the summer. So how hot does Mexico get in, in the summer? Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you have any questions about questions with how? Or is it everything clear? Hello? What is the structure for how questions? W -A 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 adjective. How plus adjective. Exactly. How plus adjective. Good. Good job. Okay. So, guys, we're going to stop here. We are going to finish with one more exercise. How, how plus adjective. How plus adjective, that's correct. How cold, how far, how long, how big, how hot. How hot is San Miguel in the summer? How oh, hot. Or it's how hot? Very hot. It's very hot, like 38 degrees Celsius, right? Okay, the okay. exercise is loading. I hope that we can finish in time. The first one says, uh, you have to help me to choose the best question. For example, frozen. The answer how is cold. frozen. How, how cold? cold. Frozen, how cold? Three meters deep? How deep? How, high? how, deep? how, deep? how deep? It's like how the question. Deep. It's like the song. How deep is your love? How, how deep. deep is your love for me? <laughs> Just kidding. Now, for this question, for this answer, a lot of water? How much? How much? Seven cars? How many? How many? How many? How many? Warm? How hot? How, 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 how hot? It takes how, me how. an hour to get to work? How long? No. How long? Yes, how long? How long is this class? Okay. How long is this class? It is one hour. It's one hour or 60 minutes. It is extra large. How far? How big? How big? It is. It is two blocks from here. How far? How far? How far? Sixty-two meters. How far? meters. How high? How high? How high? How high? And I am twenty-five years old. How old. How, old. how old? I wish I could no, be 25 no, no, no. years old again. <laughs> We're going to check. Cross your fingers saying, yes, you got it correct. Very good. Okay, guys, can you tell me what you learned today in this class? What did you learn in this class? Comparative and superlative. Comparative and superlative. And, and the structure, uh, how plus adjective. Very good. <laughs> how questions. Excellent. Guys, okay. remember, we have class on Thursday. Okay? See you on Thursday. Have a good night. See you. See you. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. See you on Thursday. Good night. Good night.